guys welcome to my channel or welcome back if it's your first time here you're absolutely welcome my name is Neo. i hope you like it here i hope you stay do show me your love by hitting the red subscribe button and the little bell next to so that you're the first one to find out each and every time that i drop a new video and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back home I'm sure you guys already read the title of this video. I'm going to be telling you guys all about the student visa requirements for Poland, also known as a Type D national visa. So first and foremost, guys, the most important thing, required document. So the first document that you will require is the application form that you would have downloaded from the Polish Embassy website. Secondly, guys, what you'll need is passport size photos. You guys know the drill, white background, clear pictures. Thirdly, guys, you'll need a valid passport. Your passport should be valid. And if you're a citizen from outside the consular district, let's say, for example, you come from Nigeria and you live in Botswana, you'll have to show a valid um, residence permit of Botswana in order to apply for a visa at the embassy in South Africa. Um, the fourth thing that you'll need is a copy of your passport. You know, the front page with your face and your details and stuff. Next thing that you'll need is travel insurance for one year. Guys, this is very, very important. This is extremely important. Even though you plan to get travel insurance when you get to Poland, even though you're insured by your university or your school, you still have to get valid travel insurance for one year, not one month, not two months, one full year. And if you don't have um, travel insurance for one year, your visa does have chances of being declined just because of that. So make sure that you get travel insurance for one full year, 365 days the next thing you'll need is an air ticket or an itinerary a one-way ticket could also be accepted the next thing you'll need guys very very important each and every one of these things is important because really if one of them is missing there are high chances of your visa um getting declined the next thing you'll need is proof of accommodation this could be an apartment lease if you're if you plan to live in an apartment and if you plan to live in school accommodation this is the letter you get from the dormitory or from the school showing that Simang Mang has been given a place in this dormitory and you know they have accommodation yes guys or if you're moving to an apartment like I already said this would be your contract between you and your landlord make sure it's clearly stated make sure your name is there in that contract next and most important document especially if you're a student is proof of enrollment your final acceptance letter proof to show why you are actually going to Poland I count this as one of the most important documents because if they don't know why you're going like why would they give you a visa so yes guys if you're going as a student you need to print out your final acceptance letter signed and sealed by the school and alongside with that another very important thing you need to have is proof that all your school fees have been paid all outstanding fees have been paid so if you're going as a first year student um, which I'd assume this video mostly applies to because if you've already gone to Poland then you probably already know this process but if you're going as a new student you need to um, pay all your school fees for the year in order for them to grant you the visa basically or just have a letter from the school showing that you know Simang Mang has paid their fees for the year and they have no outstanding fees left the next important thing you guys is proof of financial means this is important for them to see if you'll be able to you know sustain yourself if you'll be able to survive you know the cost of living in poland so i know this might not be the case for everyone but let's just assume that your sponsor is your parents parents or whoever your sponsor is really will have to present a signed declaration of all costs you know basically an affidavit showing um how they will cover all your costs you know um, Simang Mang's rent will be covered, Simang Mang's transport, blah, 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 blah. This sponsor's letter should be legalized by a public notary and then it should also be legalized by the High Court or Ministry of Foreign Affairs, depending on how your country does it. But according to Botswana, um, this letter, this sponsor's letter must be legalized, notarized, apostled by the High Court. I know that in Zimbabwe, the letter should be legalized and apostled by the ministry of foreign affairs guys this is extremely important without this your visa can actually be declined your application can be declined so make sure that your sponsor writes an affidavit they write how they plan to sponsor you how they'll be sponsoring you which costs they'll be covering and then take that letter that affidavit 
and make sure that it's legalized notarized apostle that you also need to carry your sponsor's um id copy of their id or passport you very important thing when you have a sponsor is that you should take your sponsored signed confirmation of employment your sponsor should be somebody that's employed because the embassy will also require three months pay sleeps showing how much they earn every month just so they can see if this person will be able to sponsor you now like i said it's not the case for everyone that their parents are their sponsors anyone who's your sponsor should provide these very very important documents so basically guys that's all the documents that you need in order to apply for a type d national visa or a student visa a polish student visa um but in addition to these documents that i already mentioned guys the consul may actually ask for additional documents they let you know upon application and then um the consul also may call you in for an interview but it's not a must it's like they can but they must not in most cases they don't but if they do you might want to be ready for that they might ask you super basic questions why are you going just to verify that the documents you gave them are legitimate guys because we live in such a crazy world where people actually forge documents and stuff so you must understand why they need all these specifications another important note guys is that according to the polish act on foreigners all these documents should not be older than 30 days so they should be you know fresh new documents so yeah guys that's that on that i really really hope that this video was helpful for you don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and please do not hesitate to send me any questions that you might have regarding studying in poland visa applications and so on and so forth thank you so much for watching guys um follow me on instagram at underscore now doesn't better underscore and i'll see you in the next video bye